Hello everybody, it's The Last Raider. We are back with another video. And today we're going to talk about something that I think has happened. I've, had, I've got a theory about this whole Captain Cummings, uh, Peter Smitty swatting thing. I'd like to throw it out there for everyone to think about. Because, you know, Captain Cummings has thrown his little, has been, you know, helping out the theory of comic book huts. I want you to, I want you to think about <clears throat> what makes more sense right now. Okay. So for those of you who don't know what's going on with uh, the Peter Smitty thing, basically Captain Cummings is working off of a rumor that comic book huts heard from a friend who saw a website somehow in a town that Peter Smitty is supposed to be in. And the idea was, the thing was that there's this website. It does all the police reports, no matter what they are, no matter if they're violent crimes or not. And Peter Samedi was not on this site. So, in their opinion, Peter Samedi's swatting was a lie and faked. So, <clears throat> as we're going along here, Captain Cummings jumps on this. And, of course, he's been trying to build up his channel by stirring up bullshit. Which, we're not going to refer to him as Captain Cummings anymore. We're going to refer to him as Captain Karen. Because he does not like being called Captain Karen. And I'm going to call him that. It's like... You don't, you don't have a reaction if a monkey hitting a button is a bad thing. Then the monkey's going to pick up a mallet and hit it. So, Captain Karen comes along. And he's been, you know, harassing Peter Sabetti. Now, here's the thing that gets interesting. That, that has kind of gotten me interested at a moment. Captain Karen was delving into the police departments, causing Peter Sabetti problems. And Peter Sabetti called the cops. And had them go get on to Captain Karen for harassment. Here's the kicker. Police departments cannot respond to crimes outside of their jurisdiction. I want you to realize that. You cannot have uh, one police department in one town responding to a, to a crime in another town. Unless that town either requests it or tells them, hey, we've got a criminal you're looking for. Or we've got someone we need to transport back over to your area because they've committed a crime over there. They can only respond to a criminal that's within their jurisdiction. And then it starts going up to... that That's local level police department. Now, what happened is Peter Samedi called a police department. We're not sure what police department it was, but he called a police department to call Captain Karen and tell Captain Karen to buzz off. Okay. Captain Karen then says, I've got the police department number and posts the police department where the P.O. box of Alterna is located, which is in another town. This is, this is where it gets weird because, like I said, police departments only respond to calls within their jurisdiction. You cannot live like in, say... Hayettesville and call the Blaine City Police Department to come over and deal with a crime over in Hayettesville. Okay? So, you can only call your police department. Every town has a police department unless they don't have one. Now, <clears throat> the fun part about that was, <laughs> with that phone call, is we don't have a recording of the phone call. You think Captain, Cumming, you know, Captain Karen would throw out a phone call or something, you know, showing that this is what Peter Sabetti is doing because he now has access to this information. Here's what I'm going to say. I think that Captain Karen, or Phil Cummins, is running all over the state calling every single area because now he's got proof that the swatting actually happened. Okay? This means that the swatting is real. But Captain Karen <clears throat> has probably also been told by the police department that if he releases Peter Sumetti's information, anything that he releases will be considered a dox in an ongoing investigation. So he is unable to do this without legal backlash. So all this controversy, all this nonsense of him running around calling all these random police departments in New Hampshire Try acting like he's trying to get it. It's all show. 
There's nothing. He already knows where Peter Semeny lives. He already knows that the swatting is real. And he is withholding the information because A, he's too chicken shit to deal with the legal repercussions. Or B, he's also holding it out to stir this on so that he can get content. So he can get more subscribers. Mind you, he can get more subscribers for a channel that as of this moment has zero content whatsoever. There are no videos. It's like, why are you doing this? You know, put some tame videos on YouTube and then run you a Patreon with all the bullcrap or subscribes are throwing out all the bullcrap you want to throw out there. It's quite simple. But as I said, I think Phil Cummings already knows. He knows the swatting is real. And he's lying to his own audience, probably. And like I said, this is my theory. I could be wrong on it. I will accept if I'm wrong. But like I said, I believe Phil Cummings and Anti Comics Gate already know that the swatting is real and they're lying to everyone. It's the only thing that makes logical sense right now. Because... Like I said, police departments operate in their own jurisdictions. The only way this could come, I, I don't see how this could come around any other direction. Unless, the only way this could go around is if Peter Semitty probably called from one police, probably called from the P.O. box. But that seems very unlikely because these are, these are actions being directed at Peter Semitty himself. So it seems more like he would have called the police in his area to go after Phil Cummings and, you know, basically tell him to back off or legal repercussions are coming your direction for harassment and possible doxing and interfering with a, an investigation. If this is an ongoing investigation, my air conditioner just kicked on. <laughs> I'm almost done anyway. If, if this is an ongoing investigation... <clears throat> Yeah, he's probably meddling in it, harassing the uh, victim of the investigation. You know, the, the person who is a victim of a crime. And <clears throat> he's also trying to attempt to dox them, possibly so that more harm can come to them. That's how the police are going to look at this. Anyway, folks, what do you think of my theory? Leave your comment down there about what you think the theory is going to... What you think about the theory. And uh, as usual, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. If you're new to the channel and hit the bell for notification, I'm the last Raider. Keep you in the swivel, stay frosty, and I'll see y'all in the next video.